Twin Flames. Let's do an energy update. I hope you all are doing amazing. Oop, cars are trying to explode. Sending each and every one of you love and light. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This will also not be for any specific placements, birth chart placements, but if I do see them come out, I will mention them. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here and if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you are interested, click the join button below. You can find more information about joining um, in the description box as well. You can also find information about private readings and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective reading. All right. We have the Seven of Cups. We have Divine Timing. Some of you guys are confused as hell. Like, what is even going on right now? But Spirit says, be patient. Surrender to the unknown. Don't worry about it. We have Taming Hunger. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to resist temptation. Mm. Injustice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hold on a second. Could clarify the Seven of Cups. The karmic partner. Oh, Lord. Codependency. Your dark side exposed. Clarify divine timing. Six of Pentacles. Clarify taming hunger. Mirroring. You guys are both trying to stay away from each other. <laughs> you guys are both avoiding each other. You're, or you're, It's like not really that you guys are trying to stay away from each other. You guys are both in this energy while you're trying to tame your feelings and emotions and desire and passion for one another. Yeah. Clarify justice. You're like, is it always going to be like this? We have children. Oh, somebody could be going to court. About kids, children. Yeah. Hmm. Libra energy with justice. So what's up with seven of cups and karmic partner? The lovers. This person, somebody's still trying to figure out who they want to be with. The lovers, Gemini energy. The page of cups or what a, somebody knows your value and your worth somebody's afraid that they're about to lose you you may hear from this person you may get a message from them but there's something going on it's almost like somebody feels like they can't stay away from you the strong this connection is way too strong for them to stay away from you somebody knows that you're not somebody that they wish they would want to lose like or that they should lose what about karmic partner though nine of cups the Nine of Wands and the Sexual Encounter. What? Dark Knight of the Soul. What's to do with my collective? What does Karmic Partner have to do with my collective? Some of you guys could be wondering if this is your Karmic Partner. That's all I can say. You guys are probably like, is this, is, was this a Karmic or was this a twin? Yeah, that's what that is. Mm, was it just sex? Like, that's what you guys are trying to figure out. Like, what was this? Some of you, you're, you're questioning everything. Like some of you guys could have been like, yeah, this is my twin. And now you're like, I don't know anymore. Maybe I just was deluding myself. Maybe it was just an illusion. Like maybe this isn't my twin. But Spirit says, have patience. Surrender to the unknown. Some of you guys in divine timing have a very balanced relationship coming in. Someone that's going to be very generous and very fair. And it's going to be very reciprocal. And you're going to feel like the person likes you as much as you like them. And it could be this person. But there was definitely, whoever your twin is, there was a need for you guys to both go within. You were being called to go within. Um, what is up with justice and children? Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Date. What is that? The Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords. Somebody rushing in. A, a quick sudden change what about children though somebody is literally fighting in regards to kids ten of swords yeah painful ending so fighting yeah what does that do with my collective though the pain somebody's watching you curious to know what's going on with you yeah looking seeing you look good 
still not sure what they undecided about you. Seeing you look really good. Some of you guys be fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. So while some, somebody's like observing you, watching you from a distance, spying on you, looking at your social media, while they're over there, there's something going on in regards to like the legal system, children, fighting, conflict. The Empress, the Chariot, and the Awakening. Awakening to what? No closure and the Emperor. Somebody, oh, we have the Empress and the Emperor here. So you were dealing with somebody that didn't recognize the divine connection. They didn't have the capacity to understand what the connection was. Like you maybe recognized that it was like a divine connection or that this was your twin or whatever. You guys had a soul connection. But they did not have that level of spiritual awareness or just that they weren't on that level of emotional maturity or maturity at all to understand what was going on between the two of you. But I feel like somebody with the Empress and the Emperor coming out, that could also be somebody's mom and dad, but somebody is something. something it could also be inner child here too. What's up with the Empress and the Emperor? Yeah, no closure. This person just feels like it's not over between the two of you because they feel like you guys are supposed to be together. But I feel like somebody is starting to realize w what this connection is, that it's not just some little fling or it's not just something not, it's not that like, it's not a crush. It's not trivial or whatever they thought it was, but y'all may not be speaking right now, but they don't feel like it's over. King of Pentacles. Some of you guys be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. What about the King of Pentacles, the Four of Cups and Judgment? Some of you guys rejected this person or you guys have just stopped speaking to them and it's waking them up to something. What's up with my collector though? The moon, Pisces energy, mm, with the world. Okay. There's like a period of, didn't I say you guys are kind of just like, what the hell is going on here with this person? There's a period of uncertainty coming to end, to an end where you don't know what the future holds for this connection. You don't know if they're your person. You don't know if you guys are going to end up working shit out. You just don't know anything. You don't know. You're just like, what's going on? Like, is this going to change? So what's going to be happening going forward? We have the Ten of Pentacles. If you feel like things have been vague or you've been confused about whether or not this person is actually your person or not, this is probably your reading. Some of you guys are going to end up settling down with this person and being married. I feel like things are going to be put into per to perspective for you or your per perspective is going to be changing on the situation. Yeah, the devil. I saw the devil when I was shuffling. Somebody is releasing some type of toxic relationship, marriage, obsession, addiction, habit, or something like that. It's like they're sacrificing that. What's the devil? It could be a karmic partner. What's the devil? The Knight of Pentacles. Something that's been very, they've been very slow, slow to release or slow to let go of or like sacrifice. What's that do with you though? We have the magician. They want things to get better with you. The magician and the um, six of swords. They want things to improve and get better with you. Somebody knows that they can't hold on to something and also try and want things to get better with you. It's not going to happen. Yeah, I told you. Some of you guys have re been rejecting this person while they've been in this energy. Uh, thinking that they can have their cake and eat it too. Or that they can hold on to something toxic and also have you at the same time. You guys have rejected this person or you're resisting them or you're trying to stay away from them because you feel like you can't trust this person. You feel like this person plays on your emotions. You feel like this person makes you a lot of false promises or you just feel like you're thinking about what they did to you. So you, a lot of you guys are dwelling on the past. It's like you're trying to heal from it. But you feel like the healthy choice would be to stay away from this person when you think about what happened in the past with this person. So I just feel like, feel like you guys are kind of just like stepping into the unknown or you're kind of like basking in the unknown where you just don't really know what's going to happen. You're just kind of just trying your best to listen to your intuition that, you know, things are, you're just trying to like, I feel like this person has left things very unclear for you. So you're trying to listen to your intuition about what is really going on here because I feel like this person has not been clear or they've been very vague or things have been kind of just I don't know you don't trust that this person has been honest with you about things or let's get some more 
What else can you tell me, Spirit, about the situation? What else can you tell me? We have the Page of Swords. Somebody's definitely watching you and keeping tabs on you. They could even be talking about you to other people or, or there could be gossip about you. Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here, though? The world. Somebody feeling like something is over and that they've missed an opportunity or they're cu somebody's curious to know. Somebody thought that y'all would be like together forever forever or you would be dealing with each like you would never not be in their life or something like that but see the knight of wands somebody knows they got to put it into their player ways yep somebody feels like knows that they need to put it into their player ways and they've been either this person thought you were going to put your life on hold for them or it's been taking them forever in a lifetime to do this yeah they've been playing games so now what what's the current energy the king of swords clarity truth Somebody may be acting aloof. The hermit, yeah, withdrawn. Somebody is getting a lot of clarity about this relationship with the hermit and the king of swords. They're in hermit mode. They're doing a lot of introspecting. They're doing a lot of contemplating and thinking about the situation. And whatever, what, what they're thinking about, what's on their mind is a relationship, this strong connection between the two of you, um, their feelings. So what are they getting clarity about it? We have the queen of swords here. So this person feels like you're a perfect match for them. I'm telling you, this person feels, I keep seeing the matches coming out, but you guys are, like I said, you guys are matching each other's energy where you're both trying to act like you don't have feelings, you don't have emotions, <laughs> you're not emotionally invested, you're acting like you're both acting cold, cold, cold towards each other, but also doing a lot of thinking about each other. So what, what are they realizing or coming to a decision about when it comes to you? The eight of swords, I told you, they're very much up in their head about you. This person feels like they can't escape you. Yeah, they feel that they, they won't be able to stop thinking about you. They feel they won't be able to move on from you. This person feels like all the only choice they have is to clean up their life, get their shit together, do the inner work, cut off these karmics and take this leap of faith and be with you because that's what this person's realizing. They feel like they you, they will never be, they won't get over you. This will never end. Yeah, look at this Ace of Swords. They're very clear on this. Somebody's like, I'm never getting over the collective. I have to make these changes because I'm not, I don't want to be in this mental prison for the rest of my life. Holding back and pretending is exhausting. And so I feel like this person is starting to possibly get tired of pretending, wearing a facade, wearing a mask. One, two, three, four on the camera. So yeah, it's like, yeah, the six of wands. Somebody is like, got has direction now. And it's like, mm -hmm. what is internal conflict here though? Seven of swords and unawakened. Two of pentacles. Is this the current energy? No, straight. They're overcoming. This person was in this energy, like I said earlier, where they were very confused and clouded judgment and they just could, they were blocked. They couldn't see things clearly. Very, a lot of internal conflict, right? They're coming out of that energy now. Yeah, they're coming out of that energy now. What's the Seven of Swords, though? What's the Seven of Swords, Spirit? Temperance. They're strategizing how they can reconcile with you, bring this back together, bring things back into balance. Ace of Cups. Yeah, I have a new beginning in love with you. Queen of Cups. The Two of Swords, though. Queen of Cups and the Two of Swords. The Six of Swords. They may be a little bit confused about how they... This is kind of like the collective reading I did last night. It's kind of like they're a little bit confused about how they can maybe let go of somebody else. Possibly somebody that they have kids with. How they can... Move, yeah, ripped apart. If it's just that this person is not clear... Maybe this person's not clear how you feel. Yeah, I feel like this person's not sure how you feel, if you still love them, if you're just ready to move on. The devil. What about the devil? Capricorn energy ghosting. The knight of swords rushing in. Instead of wondering, they're going to rush in, even though there are some like, it's like very, it's not clear what the, yeah, sexual encounter though. And page of cups. I don't like that. What is sexual encounter and page of cups? The queen of wands, they do want you sexually undecided and king of pentacles see what is with this person not knowing if they just want to like sleep around or if they want to settle down like i don't like that do they know or not and ending they want to th yeah do they want to change or not this person knows that if they come back towards you they're going to have to be willing to change or they will have, have to, had a change yeah 
they can't come back to you the way that they were before. This person would try to like always come back and just like try to sleep with you or try to use sex as a way to like get to get back into your life or something like that. And they know that they can't come towards you. The only thing that's going to get them back into your life is them coming towards you stable, solid with something to offer, matured. So, or they're going to actually have to have the willingness to grow up. And I had somebody comment on one of my videos. I don't know which one it was talking about. Stop saying that children is that that person being immature take how many times do i have to say in my readings take it how it resonates for some of you it will be that there's children involved but for some others of you it will be that somebody is immature and also remember i am an intuitive reader so i look at the cards i look at i listen to my intuition i listen to what my guides are telling me and then i make a decision about what i think the cards are saying or what the what's what what the message is that's trying to be relayed so just Miss me with those comments. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, collective readings are open to interpretation. You take it how it resonates for your situation. That comment is just such a slap of, slap in the face to people that pay, possibly can't have kids or there, there just isn't any kids involved in the situation or people that are in like the later years of their life and things like that. Like it's not going to be, these are collective readings. Get a personal reading. Get a personal reading if you want a personalized reading that is specific to your situation. Okay, so let's get some oracle cards. Um, So we have apology here. So someone is going to try to come in and make amends here. Coming in to renew love loss, forgiveness, returning gift, not over. Closure, confession, regrets, making things right. So if you guys are like, I don't know if that person, we're ever going to come back together. If this was the last time. No, Spirit says they'll be back. It looks like they're coming. They could even be bringing you flowers or sending you flowers. We have resurrection. Yes, they will 100% be back. Yeah. Shake off the past and rise again. I can't say 100%, but good possibility. Okay. Shake off the past and rise again and reinvent yourself and you'll rise up from the ashes. Even more powerful recovery, come back and return. So two indicators of this person returning. We have thwarted plans here though. Sharpen your will and persevere. It will not cause any long-term negative consequences. What, are, what is up with thwarted plans? Cupid, new love will find you. Somebody could have thought that they were going to find somebody new or... Somebody could have been trying to get back out there and find somebody new and then they realized that they couldn't get over you. Yeah, new love, meeting someone new, getting back out there, honeymoon stage and potential. So you guys may have had no luck finding somebody new to settle down with their date and maybe they haven't either. We have hard work. The hard work will be rewarded. Teamwork, dedication, fertility, success, sweet indulgence, achieving the impossible. Okay, what do we have here? We have a spiritual test and we have a line. So some of you guys have been doing a lot of work to get into alignment, go through some spiritual growth here, get more in tune with the divine, yeah, align with their higher self or with higher self. Harmony, balance, awareness, divine connection, insight, soul expansion, spiritual growth. Spiritual test. You're on the right path to discover your spiritual gifts so you may grow and evolve spiritually. Some of you guys could be readers or Reiki practitioners or you do something spiritual for work um medium whatever yeah grow and evolve spiritually or you just been doing the inner work if you don't have a spiritual gift you've just been working on doing the inner work because you want to get in alignment you know you want to manifest better for yourself and spirit is acknowledging they see you've been doing a lot of work on that and they're telling you to, that you will be rewarded for that okay we have strike look yep expect to see major progress victory conquering winning perfection on track you're on the right path accurate faultless yes direct approach and we have independent um, so it says it's time to strike out on your own. So Spirit says, like, if you guys are single, that's what was supposed to be happening right now. You guys were supposed to go on a path or a journey of singlehood. All right. It says, and rise up to the challenge. You are more powerful than you know. Free, detached, and uncommitted. And then we have joyful trap chapter. It says, so they know that you've been on this journey of, like, just focusing on yourself and being single. But you're about to step into a joyful chapter, they says. It says, take pride in your accomplishments. Celebrate and enjoy your life. Fate is on your side. So, yeah. We have ghosting. Why does that keep coming out? It says not ready to communicate. 
not returning calls, texts, disappearing act, cold behavior, running away, not talking. Some of you guys aren't ready to, to communicate with this person or talk to them. Mr. So that's okay. Do it when you feel like you want to or don't do it at all. We have small steps. Some of you guys are going to, yeah, it, it's the small wins, the small triumphs. Some of you guys would have the, the strength to, you know, hold back from this person, go cold on them, not, you know, answer back that message right away. Um, to you, you, some of you guys have, have finally found the strength to stop talking to this person if they're not treating you right. It says the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories, celebrate them. They will take you there. Slow and steady, careful actions. You guys are moving more carefully with this person and that's exactly what needed to happen. It's, it's actually lighting, it's forcing this person to take some type of action here. You're also finding other ways to like, it says find a way to reignite that energy in your life right now and immerse yourself in what you truly love. So you, you shifted your focus onto other things. Somebody's yeah, triggers, lessons, unhealthy, pushing, karmic relationship, chaotic, provoke, unbalanced, fleeting, a challenging connection. But we have healing, healing emotional wounds. So Spirit is saying this isn't a karmic. And I, I tell people this all the time when it comes to inflame readings. It's not a karmic relationship. You and this person, twins trigger each other. Just because you're the person triggers you doesn't mean that they're not your twin flame. That could possibly mean that they are your twin flame, possibly, not in all cases. But it's just the reason why this has been such a challenging connection is not because they're a karmic, but it's because you and this person both had a lot of healing to do. Your twin had healing to do and you had healing to do as well. And this connection came into your life to show you what you needed to work on. Those triggers came up to the surface. If you're feeling triggered, that's some, that's your that's to show you what you need to still work on and what you need to heal. And this person has definitely triggered you and has shown you some things that you still needed to work on. So this is recovering, repairing, improving, shadow work, deep healing, getting over something. Yeah. And we have superior. Yeah. Become a leader in the situation. So you have possibly, one of you is more awakened than the other, more stable, more mature, more emotionally mature. And you have been like a leader um, you're, it's like you, you've been leading this person down the path of healing and recognizing their issues and things like that as well. Okay. And yeah, you guys are in this energy of setting boundaries. Yeah. And that was necessary. Some of you guys are prioritizing work over love right now. Yeah. Celebration. You guys are going to be achieving something in regards to work. Yeah. But, or some of you guys are going to be like teaming up with this person at some point and doing something for work. But yeah, you and this person, the separation was necessary. Twins. Almost nine times out of ten, they always go into separation at some point. It says it's best to part ways to heal. But look at this, heart and key. It is safe for you to love. Open Spirit says that don't think because you and this person had to spend some time apart, that, that also means that you're not supposed to be with this person. The Spirit says the separation was necessary. I think I was talking about that earlier. But anyway, it says open to love, perfect match, meeting the one, easy to love, compliment each other. So yeah, but some of you guys are thinking that this person isn't for you. Yeah, but Spirit says it's just y'all just needed to spend some time apart to heal and work on yourselves. But the the you guys had to meet each other first so that you guys could really see what it is that you needed to work on and what needed to change. But yeah, this is what I have for you. I'm gonna take this over to the extended reading. I want to take a deeper look at like more like what this person's feeling and thinking about you because I feel like that didn't it came through but it didn't. And their next actions, um, intentions, guidance, all that will be in the extended reading. The link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings private reading information can also be found in the description box and don't forget to like or follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok if you're interested in collective readings i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i will see you in the extended reading bye